Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and once again, PAX East 2013. We are at the last day now. This is the final hours of PAX East. I am here with Mark Honick, Director of Product Marketing for PNY, and he has some pretty crazy new GPU uh, video card cooling technology that he wants to show us today. Mark, what can you tell us about your new uh, cooling stuff? So, what we looked at is you know some really exciting technology in the past so we ventured out and we were the first company to integrate a fully enclosed liquid cooled system into our GTX 680 product line so as you can see here this is kind of the first example of that this was an all-in-one fully enclosed liquid cooled system this allowed for basically the CPU uh, to basically stay very very cool running at very high clock rates um, without really having to do any work and maintaining the quality of the product. But what we've done now is we looked at this approach and saw the market and said, you know, what if we came out with a modular version that would enable all of our, our customers to basically go out there and, and scale, to do SLI capability, to add varying uh, radiators, to tie in CPU coolers, and also bridge in the GPU together all in one unit. So now I want to share with you the exciting developments that we've done. So what we looked at was some server technology that really helped us to bridge this gap. And this is the quick disconnect system uh, from our partner Ace Tech. And we decided to go with them and, and implement this into a consumer level product. So what that allows us to create now is, instead of shipping a fully enclosed unit with the radiator included, we're now able to provide basically quick disconnects running directly out of the graphics card itself. What this allows us to do is then offer the ability to create modular capabilities. So you could choose between a small radiator or a larger radiator, adding and bridging in SLI um, into this configuration and tying in your CPU cooler as well. So how this works is very simple. All of the liquid is contained within this individual modular segment. As soon as the connection's made, that creates the bridge to pass the cooling um, across the board. No air bubbles are pushed across when the connection is made. And it's really, really easy. Let me show you how. So all I do is I basically take this end here and I plug it in. I make the turn and boom, it's connected. Do the same thing over here. And boom, it's connected. Fully enclosed, fully capable. So what this allows is now a very, very simple, very, very reliable DIY modular liquid cooled setup that's fully scalable, fully customizable. And it even allows you to daisy chain a number of different radiators in case you wanted to increase your configuration. So let me show you how that works real quick. So basically here what you can see is I just make the simple disconnect here and then now I can take basically this version Add another radiator if I wanted to. Just plug it in, turn it, snap it, and do the same thing again. And turn it and snap it. And now I've got two radiators bridged in to the same card. Now what you can imagine is we've also got modular components as well that will allow to bring three graphics cards together in a triple SLI configuration and then also bridging in CPU coolers also with the quick disconnect system. So now you have the capability to make a fully enclosed liquid cooled system without all the hassle, the reliability, and the issues that come with custom water blocked arrangements. So we feel really, really excited about this technology um, and are gonna be bringing this to the market in the very, very near future. So another key advantage here is as we go forward, uh, the Kepler GPU architecture, it has a limitation innately of 50 degrees Celsius um, in terms of GPU boost and maximum performance gains. Uh, what this system does is it works together uh, with the existing shroud cooler fan to basically provide a, a lower 50 degrees environment running at at least 1250 megahertz clock rate. So this will allow you to basically take this and overclock to significantly higher than any other card out on the market today. Very cool. Um, any ETA on this? So what we're looking at here is probably right around uh, the third quarter of this year. So it would be about the July time frame. We're just finalizing our profiles, finishing our qualifications, and then we'll be bringing this out to market. 
Sounds great. Um, what do we have over here for memory? So over here, what I'm featuring is uh, PNY's Accelerate brand of memory modules. So what we have here is our Gold Series, our Black Series, and then our Red Series. So our Gold Series product uh, features basically uh, industry standard clock rates or slightly above it, so 5% incremental OC. Um, our Black Series typically will be a 10% OC series, and our Red, which uses a very, very high grade uh, aluminum heat spreader for extreme heat dissipation, is targeted around the 10 to 15% OC range. Um, as you can see here, and I'm sure you can play with it as well, you can see it's a very, very robust um, aluminum heat spreader solution. And we have the unique fin design here as well, uh, which allows for great thermal dissipation within the system when running at very high clock rates. All of these support XMP profiles, um, standard, um, and today we can clock it up to 2400 megahertz per second. Very cool. What else do you have here? And then also what we have is our SSD product portfolio. So I'd like to highlight today that um, here we're featuring our Accelerate consumer brand of SSDs. Uh, we have two models, our standard Accelerate, which runs at 500 megabytes per second read sequential, uh, 450 megabytes per second sequential write, with 60,000 IOPS out of the box. Um, we then have our Accelerate Pro product, which uses 3K uh, flash perform, uh, program array cycles, runs up to 550 megabytes per second sequential read, with 520 megabytes per second sequential write, with 85,000 IOPS. Um, what we don't have here today is our basically our flagship product, which is our Prevail Elite. This is actually the highest life time you could get out of any drive on the SSD market today. We actually took enterprise grade flash used in the most expensive server drives and brought that into our, into our line and done it at a very, very aggressive price point. What 10K performance or program array cycles gets you is more than three times the life of any drive out on the market today. So that means you could write the full capacity of that drive every day and have it last for five to seven years. That's that's a pretty long time. That's uh, do you who's your target market for that drive? So what we're looking there is anybody who's doing uh, very very heavy video use, um, you know, lots of heavy uh, editing, video editing, and then also all the way up to our server class customers as well. So anyone who's really doing lots of write usage, using especially as a secondary drive, or doing lots of heavy RAID, especially RAID 0. It's an awesome drive for RAID 0. And, uh, that's some pretty impressive products so far for the, of the video cards especially. I am really excited about the modularity for the new uh, GTX 6 Series cards here. And uh, thanks again, Mark, for showing us all these great products. We will see you guys next time. Peace.